Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hey yo yo yo, what's up, man? It's your boy T. Let's get out to the day. My tiba told you guys already know, and I'm back with you with yet another one. If you're new to our channel and you do like our content, please do click that red button and subscribe. Again, cost you nothing but it. Now, the man that I always say has the latest Twitter in South Africa. You know what? I'm actually now giving him the cup. I'm taking it away from MT, aka officially has the latest Twitter in South Africa. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, AKA actually came out yesterday telling a fan that he does not perform at a show unless it has more than 500 people in it. And he actually continued to add that that is actually in his contract. They actually came out saying, the fan actually came out asking him, they said, So, Vele, you came to the festival in Kimpton where you were supposed to perform, chilled in your car, then left to watch the game. Uwa. AKA responded to uh, by saying There wasn't enough people for me to perform 500 minimum, it's in my contract He also continued to say We negotiated with the organizer to come back to the event after our show at Nasrec If the gig filled up, we never got the call, so yeah Continued in another tweet to say The problem is that if I get on, on, if I get on a stage with an empty crowd Y'all gonna call it AKA's show when it's simply a booking. Now apparently one of the organizers of the show was none other than Untugza who was you know a part of Tear Gas you know I'm um, with my ENKO. Um, he actually came out and responded to all these allegations about the event that AKA was making. He actually came out and said the show was sold out. I'll tweet proof in a bit at AKA Worldwide. No substance in that tweet. None whatsoever. He continued to say, Me and partners view hashtag Mzansi Hip Hop Fest as a stepping stone regardless. We see positive and success. We didn't aim for big numbers. Now, him and AKA continued having this back and forth where they were just talking about the fact that I have my own pictures and AKA was talking about the fact that he has his own pictures about what the event was and it did not have you know more than 500 people in it and so he decided not to perform now a fan also asked casper whether he would perform at an event with less than 500 people and casper actually came out and said you know what i would actually perform i actually did it last night now it didn't take much for me to connect the fact that the event that casper was talking about is the exact same event that aka is complaining saying that you know he chose not to perform because there was less than 500 people there now my friends this is a sad situation and i say it's sad because you know, as much as anyone would want to argue, even Dukes or anybody else would want to argue that AKA was wrong by leaving the event. In my opinion, I actually look at it as like, you know, AKA can do whatever he wants as far as his brand goes. If he goes to an event and he sees, you know, that there are very few people that are there or he feels like, you know, um, there's not enough people for him to perform. He has every right to actually decide to take his brand elsewhere and be like, you know what, I can't perform here because there's not enough people. It's even worse when the whole thing is actually in the contract. Now, the sad part is the fans didn't get to see their favorite artists perform. And the other sad part is as a promoter, a lot of times, you know, promoters actually have to pay a deposit to the artist before they actually come to the show. And, you know, that deposit is non-refundable. So if they paid AKA whatever deposit they paid him, they're never going to get that money back. But it's a, it's, a, it's a sad reality to the fact that an artist can do that at their discretion, especially if they put that in their contract and they actually said that, you know, they're not going to perform. I hear what Nukes is saying where he says, you know, the show was sold out, but the pictures that AKA posted are something that you can't actually deny. And I saw the pictures that he also posted, you know, when Casper was performing. It seems like the event was a bit more filled up then. But, you know, when you look at the whole situation, it wasn't that much people. And even Casper in his tweet confirmed that, you know, there was actually less than 500 people there. So you look at it and you're like, ah, you know, uh, AKA is every right to actually decide not to perform at the event. And, you know, it's a sad part of, you know, what, what it is to be in the music industry and to be a promoter, you know, and, you know, actually, you know, what artists can do with their brands. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Because when I think about it, man, I can already see the memes 
as to what AKA is saying, I can already see the memes of AKA performing and there's a small crowd there and a picture of Casper at London Stadium and people saying this is super mega shows and this is, you know, Casper in your best shows. I can already see it. So I, I think if he says that, you know, there were very few people for him to perform and he decided not to perform for that reason, I actually agree with him. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think it was correct? Do you guys think it was wrong? Leave me a comment and definitely subscribe. Awesome. Now wait, 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 Emma Billy. I know you wanna go, but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name, man. Awesome.